Light. A constant flux between stillness and movement. Kind of like the new Flux playing cards. So just what is this deck like? Let's find out. Nathan McScary here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Flux deck, released by Lotus in Hand in collaboration with Art of Play. Now this deck has sort of a dark, mysterious, motion-based theme to it, but it actually does have one really unique feature. That is, there's a way to actually visually animate the playing cards themselves. But we'll get to that in a minute. The tuck case here is a real cut above. Rather than being made of a cardstock, it's actually plastic black and white and even has some transparency on it. Then on the top of the deck it says think outside the box. You open it up and on the top of the flap it says with what's inside the box. Very cool. The faces of the cards are all black and white which goes with the theme but also illustrates that these are geared more towards cardistry rather than magic tricks and gaming. The pips are fairly generic and a little small. Court cards are also standard. Now on to the gimmick and main selling point of these cards. The back features a sort of wavy black and white design. Included are two plastic cards that have black and transparent designs, similar to the case. One of the cards features black horizontal stripes, the other vertical stripes. The way it works is by moving these cards over the back design, you can create animated visual patterns, which is pretty cool. Here's my favorite feature using the animation cards. If you put one over the front of the tuck case, it actually spells out the name of the deck, letter by letter. Very nice. Though the face cards are largely standard looking, the Ace of Spades does have an animation design. In addition to the two plastic effects cards, there are also three ad cards and a definition card that pushes the concept of the deck. The cards themselves are printed by the USPCC and handle well. In short, it's not the most unique deck out there from a design standpoint, but if you're into cardistry or like decks that have a really unique feature to them, then this could be one to check out. I'm Nathan McScary, thank you for watching.